This is another Disney podcast production. What is up, everybody? Welcome to this week's episode of another Disney podcast. This is episode number 31. Shout out to Krista Palm. And it's the week of August the 6th. Let's go. We are so happy to be back. Super. Hey, man, you had some um, time away. How, how was that? Uh, it was good. I was a little sick for a bit of it, but uh, I am back now. But time away was good. Had a little bit of vacation, went to the beach, hung out for a couple days. Nice. It was nice. It was nice. Which was beach hot. did y'all choose? Uh, we went to Cocoa Beach. So we met some friends, uh, Krista's friend from Kentucky, their family came in, uh, and we were able to get a Airbnb in the same condo unit that they were in. So we went for a couple of days end of last week. It was nice to just unplug and relax, hang on the beach. It was super hot though. There was supposed to be a rocket launch on Friday, but it got scrubbed. So we were super bummed because Coco's really only like 10 miles down the beach from Cape Canaveral. So it would have been a super awesome. Oh, wow. I didn't know that close. But it got scrubbed. So, hey, no scrubs. No scrubs. No scrubs. All of the dating stuff today. Wait, no, we are not a dating podcast. (laughs) (laughs) Happily married. Thank you. That is right. Um, That's right. You had uh, laryngitis. Uh, Well, you didn't really have that. but Yeah, I don't know if it was laryngitis. I mean, it was the cold, you know now that we're going back out into the world it's that you know there's germs when you've been locked up in the house for a year and a half that's right you're bound to get some sort of sickness so (laughs) when you just you know when you leave the clorox zone like that's uh, right that's (laughs) right when you when you unbubble wrap yourself you're bound to get some sort of germs things that things are still alive out in the world they are and you forget people get sick other than covid it's very weird it is bizarre i haven't I, i i haven't been sick in four ever obviously because of covid and wearing a mask like so that they do work i just want to wear them all the time so i don't ever have to have like the annoying cold it's been fantastic yeah for sure but yeah i'm I'm guessing last week was your wife's favorite week of the year see until uh well i shouldn't put i shouldn't throw you under the bus i know for me it's always a anytime my wife doesn't have to hear my voice it's literally like a holiday so i don't know if chris is like that but uh, wait Wait, you agree that not hearing my voice is like a holiday? I mean, I took off last week from the podcast, right? Uh, that was just so I didn't have to hear your voice. Folks, we have a breaking news announcement here on <laughs> another Disney podcast. We are um, searching for a new host, a new co-host. Searching, searching for a new co-host. But yeah, it was nice uh, to hear our long lost friend, Matthew, last week. It yeah, was, who is that guy? I don't even know. I was like, wow, this is such a sweet, melodic, angelic <laughs> voice. He should be on more. No. Mm-mm. No. No. <laughs> Although I, I try not to take it personally that the one week that I was sick and I wasn't going to be there, he's like, sure, I'll jump on the show this week. Yeah. Maybe I, Maybe it was my fault. I should. Maybe I shouldn't have asked him. <laughs> like, uh, I were just yeah. uh, like throwing Matthew under the bus right on the show. That's how you go. We love Matthew. I work with Matthew yes, every do. day. He is my, he is one of my favorite humans on the planet. He is amazing. He just doesn't, the podcast is not his jam right now. It's not. Bro, it's fine. America. One of the great we things all. about America, you get to choose what you want to do. You can the, do whatever you want. For the most part, <laughs> within guidelines. Speaking of America, I do want to talk about this. I know we mentioned uh, a few weeks ago that they they dropped the uh, a sneak peek of the of Biden. D- did you mm-hmm. see that they have fixed Trump? Like Whether they've announced that or not, they have clearly fixed yeah. Trump. <laughs> he no yeah, longer yeah. looks like Hillary Trump. <laughs> yes, I, I did see that. I mean, the hair is still a shocking resemblance, but yes. the face the face doesn't look like it melted off of one of the animatronics <laughs> from Pirates of the Caribbean. So yes. kudos. Before it was like with his I, I mean, nobody asked you to do it, Disney, but well done. Well done. Well done. Thank you for fixing that. I'm sure President Trump, former President Trump, how do you say it? Well, I mean, he's I still know. president. Yeah. I mean, we still called it President Obama, so I mean, yes, I guess, you know. But yeah, thankfully they fixed the horror <laughs> show that was the Trump animatronic. What nightmares are made of, right there? That is nightmare fuel. Okay, every time we want to have a fun show, 
and we don't want to talk about news, Disney drops massive bombs. Massive bombs. So much news. So, so much news. <laughs> we have to talk about them. I mean, they're huge. We'll, we'll talk about the furthest away from us. Like, not furthest. I mean, there's parks further, but at least in the States. So we yeah. don't talk too, too much Disneyland on here, mostly because for the entirety of the show, it was barely open. Uh, but they have finally announced their pass holder replacement program. Is that, yeah. is that a fair way to say it? Yeah, I feel that sounds like, good. I feel like it is kind of a replacement. Okay, I'm going to read a little bit here, folks, so forgive me. So it is called Magic Key, and not only did they drop the details, they also added like the cost breakdown and the different tiers. And I don't know if people are going to be amped about this or not, but I was pleasantly surprised. I mean, I, I know that people are going to be the whole was probably better before because you could go whenever you wanted however you wanted no reservations all that but we have to stop living in that world that world has we have buried that world yeah. <laughs> it is six feet yeah, under. that world is that world is gone and it's not coming back yeah so let's start with the cheapies so you can get a magic key pass this one's called the imagine key for 3.99 a year it will be mm. only available for Southern California residents living in certain zip codes. I'm not going to bore you with the numbers. So this is, of course, reservation-based admission. You're going to hear us see a theme with that. To one or both theme parks on select days of the year, you can hold two theme park reservations at a time. 10% off merch, 10% off select dining. And then, of course, you'll have to look at the block out dates to see what that is now as they say in the jeffersons one of my favorite shows that i watch moving on up to the east side we have the enchant key that's Ooh. a weird word like that why wasn't why wasn't it en enchanted en en enchant key <laughs> enchant, enchant key. key but it sounds like it should all be one word yes. the enchant key yeah, that's right <laughs> i feel like it's uh it's a term from like native americans it probably yeah. means second tier annual pass <laughs> <laughs> wow <laughs> Woo, fumbling so this is 649 a year uh open to anyone so the res again reservation based admission to one or both theme parks select days of the year that's in that keyword select hold up yep. to four theme park reservations at a time so it doubles 10 percent yep. off merch 10 percent off select dining and again you'll just have to look at the enchant key block out calendar we continue to rise to the believe key Ooh. Um, as we've stated before, reservation-based admission to one or both theme parks most days of the year. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hold up to six theme park six. reservations at a time. I feel like that's pretty great. That's yeah. way more than you can get right now at Walt Disney World. Yeah, like I literally love, double. I'd love it to be six. <laughs> yeah. I'd love you. That way, like like when you guys come down, like we've talked before, if you're coming down in two months, I can reserve my days with you, but I still got some days to play with right. in the two months before. Exactly. Uh, geez, I would love it if we went to six here. Now you'll see uh, the, the pattern, 10% off merch, 10% off select dining, but 50% off standard theme park parking, excluding blockout days and available for purchase at Mickey and friends parking structure, Pixar pals parking structure and the toy story parking area. So the other two do not include anything, any kind of discounts of parking. This tier is 50 percent off and if i didn't mention it this is 949 a year now we're getting on up to the dream key the dream key, the dream key feels more like an annual pass price <laughs> this one is yes 13.99 reservations based admission to one or both theme parks of the year still only six theme park six. reservations six um, but the big thing is there are no blockout dates with this pass and up to 20% off select merch, 15% off of dining parking included included. So yes, here's where like, to me, like here's where I would live. Yeah. I would have to look really hard at between the believe key and the dream key because yeah, you get to pay, you don't have to pay for, for parking. But you're not getting, and you don't have any blockout dates. But other than that, 
there's not a big difference. Yeah. What's it? Nine forty nine to thirteen ninety nine. Yeah. You said? Yeah. So I mean, you got what's that? Four hundred and fifty dollars. So the question then becomes: When you're looking at that, are you going to go enough at? I don't. What's it cost? Twenty five bucks to park there, like Disney World. I don't know. I've never been there. Is that yeah, about what it costs to I park? Don't, I don't know actually. So I'm, I'm looking, thinking, you know, if it does, you have for. 17 essentially 18 times to go to make up that 450 dollar difference right right are you gonna go 18 times maybe maybe not now it is interesting so i decided to pull up the block out dates basically all of august is blocked out oh wait no yeah no it is oh wait no that's sorry i'm an idiot <laughs> that's because the pass isn't out yet it starts on the day that <laughs> Yoo-hoo. so um almost all of the saturdays in october halloween time makes sense um november just uh thursday friday saturday of halloween week i'm sorry of thanksgiving week december every saturday and then every day for the rest of the year starting december 18 and then it okay. goes through january 2nd and then so basically like i'm not going to keep going you'll see it again for spring break times and around july 4th Ooh, that's interesting every saturday in july is blocked out though as well mm. so there are some weird times like that's for i mean you're talking like your weekends in july you just can't go hmm. and memorial day weekend wait yeah memorial day weekend you can't go and all of spring break which who would want to go that's my opinion and we, oh president's day right february 18 i mean february 1920 that's Feb, that's president's day right yes yeah yeah i mean it actually may have been faster to read the days that you can go <laughs> I think you're because right. it seems like a whole awful lot of days that are blocked out that's the that was the level below the top one right yeah and then the other so, one yeah, i don't I think mean, had any dates yeah i mean it may be worth spending that extra 450 then just to avoid those yeah that seems like a lot of dates it was more than i thought it was going to be now i will say this i think i didn't do all of the research but i think at least for some of them maybe all of them they are offering the if you're a california resident either in those zip codes or all of the state not sure i should have looked at it but they are offering monthly options for payment okay. so that's kind of cool i i do wish they would open that up to the world i, I would love yeah. to be an outside of florida resident to be able to receive that i mean that's just personal yeah. nitpicking so there you go man um it will they will go on sale beginning august 25th of this year nice Nice. So, four keys four keys now i've never been there i know that that said you can for the low ones you can hold two park reservations at, at a time mm-hmm. and i know there's two parks there so if you do disneyland and california adventure is that two or does that count as one i mean that's I what i'm know. that's what i'm guessing bro that bottom tier pass <laughs> wow um i'm gonna go dude you cannot go at all in you can go two days in june no days in july (laughs) six days in august why why would anybody pay for that good gravy good gravy like can i go in february like is that usually when we go Mm, nope not on the weekends (laughs) golly yeah, this is a weekday, a couple months out of the year pass. <laughs> Hands down. Man, like they I don't mean, even, I guess. <laughs> dude, they they don't even give you the calendar after September. <laughs> They're just like, like, no. Just don't worry about it. You're, it's, we'll talk to you in February. I'm just kidding. Yeah, that's definitely weekday in the spring and fall. That's basically it. Wow. Yeah. And, and I mean, I guess if you live there, like, you know, like we do here, it's easy to run over after work or so that that pass might benefit you if you just want to go people watch and walk around and hang out a little bit but you can do it for three weeks of the whole year (laughs) i mean i'm not knocking hey if if that works for you i mean especially like what if you lived in anaheim right and you're like yeah dude for 400 bucks a year i can just (laughs) 
hit one of those 16 days out of the year that I can go. <laughs> Bam! In it to win it. Just kidding. In it Just kidding. To win it. But I mean, I, I've been seeing a little chatter and people are kind of all over the place as far as how they feel about it. Uh, I've seen it's been about 50 50. Some yeah. people are stoked that something is back and and some people are like well what they brought back is awful so just like any other disney venture you're gonna have people that hate it you're gonna have people that love it i mean i'm just glad they have something for those people out there i just i don't i don't i think the glaring thing that people need to like is there's been, I, I had a conversation with a young lady on social media, the same one that you had a conversation oh. with on social media, and she was just not okay with the reservation system at Walt Disney World. And both of you and I tried to convince her that, yeah, man, that's really not going anywhere. And again, we've talked about this before, that we think that even if it stays, we believe there will be a time in our future where it's just basically you're saying, Hey Disney, I'm coming. I'm coming yeah. to this park today. And I still think it's going to be okay. If you're like 9am, you say, Hey, I'm coming to this park today. And then at 915, you're like, Oh gosh, all of my friends are going to Hollywood studios. I'm sure you'll be able to just pop back on the app and switch it. They just want to know where you're where going. You're going I, to be. I, I'm yeah. guessing, I, I'm guessing like, but I, yeah, when we get back to a fully open world, uh, what w- they just, that's, it's just, yeah. it, it, there I mean, isn't, there won't be a need for it anymore other than they get the advantage of knowing that you're coming. But yeah. this person was very adamant about like, well, I don't like that. So I'm going to universal. Uh, great. Uh, enjoy. Like, cause I mean, the, the problem is not going do. anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. And I think she kept saying like, I will go to universal until, they get rid of it and then I'll come back. And that was you and I's point is it's not going anywhere. Like you, you didn't have any problem going on the app and choosing your three fast passes and going on the app and picking new fast passes every day, but you can't wake up and hit a reservation and say, I'm going to magic kingdom. Like I don't see how that's inconveniencing anyone. Yeah. It's uh whatever. I mean, it's just to, yes, it sucks. Like, I don't want to have to have an extra step to go, but like the alternative is not go, which she yeah. was fine with. She was fine with right on mate. <laughs> that's, that's the beauty of this world. You can choose where you go and where you spend your money. Uh, yeah. 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 More so, reservations for other people. That's all I'm going to say. Exactly. Exactly. And so, so we've talked about Disneyland and some other awesome news, obviously that came out this week, maybe just today uh is that walt disney world is going to start offering annual passes again uh there was an email that came out that said disney world will start offering new this again this is new annual passes again in time for the 50th anniversary celebration more info to come later this month in true disney fashion they don't give us anything they just say it's going to happen sometime that's right. I mean, I've been saying, Keep your eyes out. yeah, I've been saying this all along, like not to like pat my own back, but here's the thing, like their fiscal year starts October of 2021, which yep. will be the fiscal year for 2022. That'll be their calendar operating year. There was no way that with the 50th coming that with, um, the world, inching closer we've taken we've tripped back a couple of steps but inching closer to um what felt like normal operations at theme parks across the globe that uh they weren't gonna have something stated planned figured out by then like i always and so here it is august right we're ramping up for the summer i mean we're, we're we're less than 60 days out from fiscal 2022 so i know that like to me it was obvious that this was this was coming and that we would know late summer and here we are and here we are so i mean we know that they're coming but we don't know when right we don't know what we don't know how here's Um, the here's the question here's what i like i i have my thoughts but i want to ask you sure do you think that when they re when they start selling them 
again, I use the term again loosely, will there be two completely different types of passes for those pre-existing, like you and I? Will there be a new system that they will eventually roll everybody over to and they'll be kind of like all the people that signed up 2021 of, let's just say they release them in September. I don't know when they're going to do it. Do you think there'll be two different types or do you think they'll, they will just reopen sales for the annual pass program that exists at Walt Disney world? Yes. See, I kind of go back and forth on this because the key, the key program came out for Disneyland and I was like, well, what if they do that at Disney world? Right. And then again, we, we talk about how Disneyland is so much of a locals park and Disney world is such so much of a world park. I just don't think that they want to one, want to, and to have the capacity and technology to keep 400 different kinds of passes <laughs> for everybody in the world that comes to Disney world. There's just no way to do it. So I think obviously, I mean, we've already got our pass. It renews, tomorrow um, oh nice congratulations so we already have ours we just got to go pick it up at the, the pass it's the normal platinum disney world pass so i think that it's just going to stay where it is i don't think that they with they don't have employees they don't have cast members they don't have the infrastructure right now to implement a whole new right pass system for half their pass holders, yeah. you know, cause a, cause a bunch left obviously during the pandemic when the parks were closed, people, you know, chose to cancel. So there, how do you say, all right, well, you guys were pass holders before, so you can come back at the old pass hold, right. the old pass holder system. You guys have never been pass holders. So now you have to go to this completely different system. Yeah. It, and then you got to have two different computer systems you got to have two different i just don't think that with four parks here that they have the capacity to do it so i think disney world is just going to stay you're just going to buy a disney annual pass now yeah. is it going to be way more yes it's yeah. going to be it's probably going to be way more if that top tier key pass is fourteen hundred dollars for I mean, two parks two parks for two parks i mean disney's disney world i'm i'm looking at eighteen nineteen hundred dollars yeah. probably I, for I four parks that, yeah. With no blackout dates, parking, yeah. it's get, they're they're going to have to charge way more. So yep. I think it's going to stay the same, but it's going to cost more. Yeah, I'm with you. I think you're right. I think that this is going to be a wait and see game. Right? They'll release it, and so my guess is that they make a change. They'll make a change the following year and then you know they'll just have to anybody they'll because they'll have to have a period where there's both right yeah and so it'll just be kind of one of those things that like hey if you have an annual pass now when it's time for you to renew you will be required to renew to the new program um but yeah i don't think they're gonna do it now but great i mean i mean there's not a day that goes by on the webs of the inter that somebody doesn't ask are they selling annual passes yet? <laughs> so I'm so thankful to give the world the information that soon. Yes. <laughs> you just say yes. Now you can just answer yes. Yes. I always yeah. want to say, um, if you check their website, you can find out all the information there. Correct. I love how people go on Facebook and ask Facebook people, when are they going to start selling annual passes? Do any of us work for no. Disney? I mean, I mean, I've heard it's Thursday at 2 a.m., but I could be wrong. <laughs> yeah, call, I mean, call Disney for goodness sake. Oh my gosh! I so yeah, humans. I mean, yeah. Even though I got my pass already, I'm stoked that that. Will yeah, that's be big finally. news. That's definitely big news. Yeah, that is big news. Um, I I think the Italy on the, I think even bigger news, which I know is people are going to be like, "You're insane," <laughs> is they they revealed the pricing for the Star Wars Galactic Cruiser. I'm going to say experience. Can't, can't, yeah. That can't just be like a hotel. It's insane. It's insane. And insanely expensive. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm already planning which bank I have to rob to experience yes. this, this two night hotel stay. It is, it is. Uh, let me, let me just unpack it here. I'm going to do a little bit more reading. So I'll give you just the normal kind of, uh, all these pricings for the standard cabin on weeknights during 
summer of 2022. That's when it's scheduled to open. Two guests. Oh, and by the way, so let's talk. If you're not familiar with this, this hotel is basically being built. I'm going to say it's going to be attached to Hollywood Studios because it is. They haven't yeah. released all of the details, but you will go in and out and probably live your life in that hotel and on Batu for the two days that you're there. And that's the only way you can experience. It's not like I want to stay for a week. I want to do one night. That's not how this experience is happening. No. So it is two days, right? So yep. for those two days, if it's just you and your bestie or you and your whatever, um, two guests per cabin will be $1,209. Wait for it. Per night. <laughs> per night. For a grand total of $4,809 for the full experience. Let's move on to two adults and a child. Eight eighty nine dollars per guest. For a grand total of fifty two ninety nine for the full experience, three adults and a child, seven forty nine a night for a grand total of, you guessed it, your math is correct, six thousand dollars. Not for a week, not to go to all of the parks at Disney World, not for a park hopper, not for your fast passes, a two day, or I guess a two night experience on yeah. the Galactic Star Cruiser. Now, I do want to say, and again, let's go back to, that's weeknights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's weeknights. But our best friend, Matthew, did actually share uh, a couple of things. So let me read. So the standard cavern is fitted with furnishings and fixtures designed to ensure comfort while traveling throughout the galaxy. Boom. Mm -hmm. Including a pullout table and TV entertainment in your home from your home planet <laughs> and a window. <laughs> with a view in out into space. So that'll be cool, right? So, I mean, that's going to be a piece of yeah. just like I'm assuming, or we're all assuming space 220, right? That'll be a cool thing. So like your window will be a screen because you'll be flying in space. So that's that. Let me go back to the next jump in the cabin. Oh, okay. So it sleeps four to five passengers. Room configuration is two queen bed, two berths. For those of you who are, didn't live around military. That's bunk beds. Uh, for one adult each and a wall pull down bed for one adult if sleeping five. So a queen bed, two bunk beds, and a wall pull down bed. And that's I mean, that's gotta be a tight squeeze in that spot. Right. I mean, because these I mean these are these can't be like DVC, you know, size rooms. <laughs> this has to be this is on a star cruiser. Yeah. So right. you gotta be you gotta be in there. And you it's only like the people you're with it's only two stories right isn't it yeah or three maybe yeah, maybe it's three so yeah. inside your cabin amenities mini fridge hair dryer safe phone with voicemail messaging interactive tv <laughs> h2o plus spa bath and shower products disney it's the mickey shampoo just so you're wondering. you yeah okay moving on to the standard <laughs> i already did that <laughs> uh, we're, we're gonna call it the the grand cabin suite, two bedroom captains, grand captain suite offer ample room for the whole family for each posh living space complete with integrated seating area. They have all the comforts of standard cabins, plus the main suite with a double vanity bathroom, a second bathroom with a single vanity, a bar area, three windows with views out into space, and a few extra Star Wars surprises. Sleeps Ooh. eight. Ooh. Um, two queen beds, two bunk beds, uh, two wall pull down beds for one adult each. Same amenities as far nice. as the cabin. And if you want to know, there's more. There is the Galaxy Class Suite. One bedroom Galaxy Class Suites feature a living space complete with an integrated seating area and have all the comforts of standard cabins plus a double vanity bathroom bar area two windows with views into space and a few extra star Wars surprises sleeps four, queen bed two two wall pull down beds. So this is the one, in my opinion, this is the one for you and your buddies, right? Yeah. So, cause you've got a queen bed and two wall pull down beds. So you only have to sleep with one of your buddies. <laughs> Sounds weird. And amenities are the same. Um, now, Remember the pricing that we gave you? That was way back up there for the standard cabin. <laughs> the standard. The standard cabin. Yeah. Yeah. Now, they also yeah. released a sample itinerary, yeah, which is insane. Insane. It looks awesome. It looks awesome. That's kind of what I was just looking at. So just like 
quickly going down things that happen like day number one you get to the terminal uh they give you your orientation on the ship you have like a party with refreshments then you get to learn how to play sabak um then you get a reception with the captain uh dinner and outer rim and then you have like an outer rim party so that's kind of night one and then you have a little bit more training uh and entertainment so you're kind of getting oriented acclimated to the ship learn where stuff is you know kind of like when you get on a cruise you want to know where the casino is and where the bar is That's right kind of the same idea day number two is the day that is awesome so you're going to wake up you're going to have breakfast then you jump on the shuttle to batu which is really a bus that takes you with windows um first thing you do rise of the resistance so all these people are going to get on rise of the resistance get it which leads me how are they going to integrate these people into the general public getting boarding passes? So I don't know how many people can stay at this hotel at one time, but it's already near impossible to get a virtual pass to rise right. of the resistance. So are they going to say, cause it looks like this says from eight 45 to nine 30 is when they all ride rise of the resistance. Does that mean general public will not be allowed on rise of the resistance till nine 30? Yeah, that or this is just a sample of itinerary, and maybe it's scattered throughout the yeah. day. Like maybe depending, yeah. like, I feel like they'll have to scatter it, unless that part changes to like it doesn't open till ten a.m. Yeah, right. It, Something it, like that. It very well may. So you're gonna get on that. Uh, then you're gonna do some fun stuff. It says that there's, there's a story moment. You could broker a deal or steal something. You could steal a ship from the first order. So that'll be kind of <laughs> cool. Nice. After that, you can jump on Smuggler's Run which is fun. So it's always good if you can get on that. Yeah. Uh, then you get to go to docking bay number seven for lunch. Uh, then you're going to get back on the shuttle to go back to the star cruiser. Then you get to do lightsaber training, which that's probably going to be super awesome. I did read that you have to be at least seven years old to do the okay. lightsaber training. So is that uh, the thing that's going to be um, because they did that in the park? Is it that experience or will it yeah. be like at the hotel? I think it's a whole new experience. Oh, I think that's it's going to be in the like you're going to go to a room in the hotel to do this lightsaber that'll training. be it's way gonna, more immersive and cool yeah yeah way more and i think that's why you have to be seven just liability wise right. i think that's why then you get to build and race some droids you get to build ships you get to have a savic tournament because you learned Holy how to cow. do it the other day uh then you have drinks and dinner and things like that so that's day two and then it's a spectacular finale i don't know if that means everybody gathers in front of the space windows and they have like a <laughs> see cool show um and then that kind of ends your night and then the, the the next morning you wake up you have breakfast and you you get shipped out so wow. it sounds like a lot is packed into two days um but i mean that price tag is still Ooh, pretty steep. steep it's steep i mean but to I mean, me this is still for the ultra fan right i mean yeah, this has got to be mean, yeah, I mean, people are going to do it because it's Disney and they want to say that they went to this galactic star cruiser and, and did it because, again, this is not like most Disney hotels. You can't just drive to this hotel and walk around and look at the lobby. Like the only way you're yeah. getting in there is you have to pay and go through the experience. Yeah, so, I mean, I know where the construction see. is, but yeah. I have never like you, haven't, you can't see it. No, like, no. I mean, I drive by it every once in a while and you can see it just looks like a outbuilding right like, unless you knew what it was you'd have no idea and then when it's done it'll be completely um, there'll be giant trees and you won't right. be able to see it at all but yeah. you know people will pay for the exclusivity i mean the only yeah. way you're going to be able to experience it is to do the experience so and you, you know, know they're we going say to we, have uh like there's going to be things that like probably like when you build and race droids or whatever, all that, like that's probably not going, my guess is that's going to be not stuff that you can buy at Batu. Like it's going to be exclusive to the star cruiser. Is that what it's called? It's the star cruiser. Like if you build a, well, they already, well, you, you remember when they revealed, unveiled that uh, lightsaber that actually yep. like goes up, like, I know that will be in the experience there, but I would be shocked if they didn't sell it. And if they do, I bet it'll only be if you're staying there. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like club 33. I mean, right. they sell stuff in there that you can only buy at club 33. If you're a club 33 member. So when are you guys getting all that? Uh, I got, I'm on the wait list. Okay. I mean, perfect. The wait list is, the wait list is like, 
10,000 people. So by the time that I get called, I may have half the down payment. Oh, you'll have cash in the end. You'll be good. Yeah, maybe, maybe. <laughs> but yeah, it sounds fun. I don't know that I would pay to do it, but I mean, we say that now, a year from now, we'll be on the show and be like, we just got back from the most epic galactic star cruiser weekend <laughs> ever. Yeah. God, yeah. That's a lot yeah. of money, man. That is a lot Can we of do money. a party of 17 and where it's like 400 a night? <laughs> I'm in. Let me, let me like, <laughs> sir, the, the room sleeps eight. It'll be like the old school, like college days yeah. where you just packed in like it's fine. 26 people into a hotel room. So yeah, just a like, path oh, to the bathroom. That's all room. you need. Yeah. yeah, that's right. I love it. Love it. All right. Dude, there was some um, Remy's Ratatouille news this week. Yeah. Yes. Yes, there was. Yes, there was. So I was excited uh, when it first came out, announced, everybody was speculating, hey, are, is there going to be any kind of preview for this ride? Uh, and when it first came out, they said, yeah, we're going to have a preview Epcot cast members. And, you know, you know that's not unexpected because that's usually what happens. That's what happened with Mickey and Mandy's Runaway. That was all cast members. But usually you can bring guests and things like that. That didn't happen for Mickey and Minnie's. So we assumed it would be the same for uh, Remy's. Well, an email came out that excited annual pass holders this week that said annual pass holder ride preview emails incoming. 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 So that means obviously just like, uh, you know, just like Pandora, just like Batu. You're going to get an email. You're going to click a link. You're going to sign up with your pass holder friends, and hopefully you're going to get a preview of it. So I'm going to keep an eye out for it, but that's super exciting that they're going to include pass holders, especially in all these times when we talk about how much Disney doesn't appreciate their pass holders. It kind of excited me to know that they're going to be included in this. Yeah, that's good. I mean, because we know that, I air quotes, that ride has been completed for months. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Um, I think it's smart for the influx of the 50th. You know, that, that, and something tells, I could be wrong, but something tells me they're going to want a whole lot more than like two weeks <laughs> of previews because yeah. come October 1st, that first week or that first couple of weeks is just going to be an onslaught of people that want to be there for the beginning and yeah. especially that opening week. You just yeah. want to have make sure that's it's buttoned down and ready to go. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, it runs on almost the same technology as Rise of the Resistance. Right. We know how much that one breaks down. So we can only hope that this one does not. But yeah, we'll yeah. hit it. Right. We'll be there for yeah. the 50th. We'll stand in the yeah. 46 hour line and make it happen. What else are we going to do? Right. Exactly. You yeah. live there. Matthew and I come all the time. It's fine. We'll just wait in line. <laughs> We'll just wait in line. Stop I'm trying to get pumped up about it. I'm more interested in seeing the area back there. Like just to see, yeah. I want that wall to be, just cause like it's a new place to explore new things yeah. to look at, but like, you know, because I'm one of those humans that have done it in Paris and has the exact same footprint. Eh, it's cute. Yeah. yeah. And especially if I get somehow get that pass holder preview, yeah. like I, I'm not going to go fight all those people and stand in line forever to do something I did two weeks earlier. So what? it'll be there. Like you guys talked about last week, whether we go the first week of the 50th anniversary or March of 2023, the right. ride's going to be the same. So that's right. that's right. Yeah. But exciting news. Glad yeah. the pass holders were included. Yeah, that's good. All right, man, we, we won't packed a lot. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm newsed out. I am news down. Well. That's a lot. That's a lot of news. I know. Hey, you talked about, you floated a fun game idea out today and I, I want to play. Yeah. So this game uh, is something new. We've never played it before. I found, I saw it somewhere, you know, I was looking for new game ideas, something new to strike our fancy. And this is kind of <laughs> how it goes. So the game I was talking with Krista about what we were going to play. And I was like, the game's called in, in or out. And she was like, well, that kind of sounds, that kind of sounds dirty. Like <laughs> you can't say in or out on a Well, podcast. that's our show folks. We'll see that you next sounds, time. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds, that sounds bad. So, you know, we have, we've already done yay or nay. So we were, we were trying to think of a, a fun right. name for it, but essentially 
the premise of the game is this. We are going to look at a couple of attractions, shows, uh, and we're going to try to determine how long is too long. I mean, that's not even a better. That's not even. A, that's not even <laughs> You're just going downhill. How about we? Call, how about? Downhill. Well, you have to explain what it is. Let's keep going. So, yeah. So we're going to determine if you walk up to a ride or an attraction or a show, and that the time to wait is X. Are you staying or are you going? That's right. So maybe stay or go. Maybe we just yeah. call it stay or go. Or we could be like, we could call it sure. Or sure. If we could call it sure. And I'm out. <laughs> yeah. Should I stay or should I go? I like that. Should, should I, I stay, stay or should, should I, I go now? Nah, 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 nah. Should I stay or should I go? So yeah, yeah you know, we'll just, we'll just spitball a couple of different attractions. Some yeah, of let's the go. ones that are our favorites. You know, so I'll start with one just because you and Matthew talked about it last week and you said the wait time. <laughs> so we're going to start with, we're going to start, we're going to start with the people mover. Why are you doing this to me, man? Why you got to start you, here? <laughs> if you and I walk up past Buzz Lightyear to the front of the people mover queue and wait, those signs, wait says, till people hear this number. The sign says the wait for people mover is 55 0 minutes. Are you doing sure or I'm out? Do, do I have to answer first? Yes. I have to really think about this one. I'm out. Ain't <laughs> no way, dude. Ain't no way. 50 minutes. That's, I mean, that's a long time. 50, 50 minutes for anything is a long time but 50 minutes for the people mover i mean <laughs> technically i will say this technically it is the longest ride isn't it or is it, it maybe rise of the resistance well, is longer no, I, but i think people movers longer it's it's it is a long ride and you get but some like, air conditioning and yeah. it's seated and it's slow yeah. and you great views of the castle and but yeah. bro 50 minutes no 50, man I, i'm out that's a long time I'm out. now let me tell you it's not because i wouldn't wait 50 minutes for the ride itself it's because the queue of the people mover is a cluster like every time <laughs> you stand in line for the people mover the queue is in a different direction <laughs> and there is zero absolutely no shade anywhere yeah. in the queue for people mover. that so, queue is big enough for like 60 people where is. were all those people if it was a 50 minute wait yeah i mean they had to be back inner interspersed with the space mountain queue <laughs> that was probably two hours like so i would not wait 50 minutes because the queue is bad not they necessarily because i wouldn't wait for the ride they shut down the autobahn ride and they were all in that line <laughs> The autobahn. the autobahn ride only holds like 80 people <laughs> no, <laughs> but you got the long line there so that's oh true. my that's gosh true. 50 it was 50 minutes i took a screenshot and i was like i'm sorry what <laughs> 50 minutes and that was a wednesday around dinner time i mean i know it's summer so for clarity this was last week it was last yes. wednesday in the five o'clock hour at your magic kingdom people 50 minutes for the people mover for the people mover. I mean, maybe they were handing out cash. I, I don't know. <laughs> That's insane. Ca cash and vaccinations right there. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to flip the script on you. All right. Flip it away. It is a hot summer day. Okay. Nothing would feel better. I know where you're going with this. Than already. a cool splash, if you will, into some waters. Mm -hmm. you look on the app you're clear you you just got off the <laughs> the people mover after your 50 minute wait <laughs> and you're looking at none other than brandon's favorite attraction which is splash mountain if you haven't guessed mm -hmm. by now and you are like i'm riding it the today is my day you hop on the queue you hop on the app it is 75 minutes which is not insane for that That's ride. No. 75 minutes. It's 110 in the shade. And I'm not being funny because the, there are days that it's, it's like that. That's a real thing in Florida. If you haven't been, tell your friends. Are you sharing it up or are you out? Well, see, and when I was thinking about that, we were going to do this game. I had to put aside the fact that I live here now and I'm not waiting. That's right. Long 
longer than, any, you know, I'm not waiting longer than 20 minutes for anything. So I'm going to pretend I don't live here anymore. And I'm going to go back to when I lived in Maryland and absolutely I'm shoring it up. I, we've gone over this a hundred times. It's my favorite ride. <laughs> I if I, <laughs> if I could fly from Maryland to the magic kingdom, yep. stand at line one ride, one ride and fly home. It's going to be splash mountain. So I'm waiting. That. I don't, I don't care if it's 120 minutes oh. and go going back to the fantastic queue. Most of splash mountains queue is in the shade. It's all back under the trees. You go inside, there's air conditioning. I'm waiting. I'm sure. hundred percent. Sure. I, I, I will continue my trend of I'm out. I ain't doing it. However, <laughs> the last time I rode that with you, we were in the queue and there was a giant owl in the tree out there that night. There it was, was so oh, yeah. cool. Thank God my daughter has great eyes because we were all she like, has, what? She has, she has Where? the eyes of an owl. <laughs> yes, she does. That was really that was really cool. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. So you're uh, out. You're yeah, out, out huh? man. I am yeah. so like well, I mean, I love that ride. No doubt I love that attraction, but I'm not like I don't have to ride it. Like, I mean, I love it as yeah. much as like uh uh Big Thunder Mountain. I would wait longer for Big Thunder Mountain. Okay. Okay. And I mean, I say this like, oh yeah, I'll jump into 75 minute line. But the last, I think eight times that I've been in the magic kingdom, I have not ridden splash mm. mountain. Just, right. you know, because well, you live there. So it's, it's, it's an unfair, there. it's an unfair contest. Yeah, I'm just not, <laughs> I'm not going to wait that long yeah. now, but if I didn't live here, yes. So yeah, well, that was good. We, we, we both went opposite ways. So good. now since you did my favorite, here we go. In Magic Kingdom, I'm going to go in your uh, d- the direction of your favorite. So, Dave, oh, no. we've now waited 75 minutes for <laughs> Splash Mountain. We've gone. We've taken the plunge to the laughing place. We are walking back through Liberty Square. We are nice and, and say, cool. I mean, we're we nice and cool, cool now because we're wet. Or we're very wet and sticky yes. and hot because it's 110 in the shade. Oh, dear. We pass Liberty Square. We pass the Liberty Tree Tavern. Oh, no. We look to the left. There she is. There she is. A beacon in the night. <laughs> and now let's, let's even up the game. This is during Halloween. So a beacon That's in foul. the night, there's fog, there's fog out front. Oh, come on. We turn the, we turn the corner and it says haunted mansion waiting time. 90 minutes. Oh my gosh. Now keep in mind. Keep in mind, we're, we got to throw out the, like, you come all the time. We're just talking, I know it's your favorite ride. It's Halloween time. You're at the Magic Kingdom. Are you waiting 90 minutes for the Haunted Mansion? Do I have a pass for no pass. Boo Bash the next day? No pass. No pass. <laughs> I don't this have a Boo Bash ticket? This is, <laughs> nope, this is a normal magic kingdom day and it is the only time you're going to be at the magic kingdom during your trip i have clarifying questions one will i be going back to the park anytime soon (laughs) no this is your one trip this year it's only august but it is hot that queue is so tight in those walls that they got up now and there's no airflow back there and this is my favorite attraction of all time. Like nothing else. Like my second favorite is I just said I wouldn't wait 50 minutes for. Bro, I'm going to break hearts. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> I can't do it. And all I right. think it's because like, like, again, it's hard to throw out just that idea that you said. It's hard to throw out that we go all the time. And so like, I can't remember the last time I waited 30 minutes. Right. Yeah. And so, or didn't have a, or, or had a fast pass obviously, but those days are (laughs) dead and buried with the, with the annual pass in Disneyland. Um, yeah, man, I I can't, I can't do it. Like that is 90 minutes. There's like, I mean, I, I, maybe this is to be fair. Maybe I should throw in a caveat. I've never waited more for any other ride than I have for uh oh what's the oh my gosh the one in toy story land the roller coaster thank you thank you i've ridden that thing twice and i've stood in line for 60 minutes both times 
Yeah. And I knew what to expect the second time, and I was just as sorely disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> right. And, like, I've never stood in a line longer than 60 minutes for, and that felt like the payoff wasn't there. And now we're talking about a sit down in the air conditioning on your favorite attraction. That's a classic of all time. Yeah. I mean, it sounds to me like you're going, you're leaning more and more towards sure. No, I'm yeah, out. I mean, I think I'm you're out. talking to yourself. No. You're out. I'm out. I'm not, that makes me not a mega fan. I know it. I, okay. Yeah. I have to end the I podcast. Figured, I, I'm done. <laughs> I figured I've, figured you would be out i i i figured 90 would be pushing it oh, what if man. i changed it to what if i changed it to 65 minutes i wasn't going back the rest of the year or four yeah, let's just say four a year for a while yeah yeah i'd, yeah. I'd do it i'd do it for an hour okay yep. okay, okay. Yep. all right so you'd wait an hour yeah yep i mean at 90 minutes for me or 65 i'm out i don't <laughs> i mean <laughs> I love I love the haunted mansion. Don't get me wrong. I, I it's uh, a good ride. It's a good attraction. I enjoy riding it with people who come to visit. That's the only time right. I wait in line is if people come to visit us and they want to ride the haunted mansion. I jump in line with them. But unless it's a fifteen minute wait, when Krista and I are there, I'm not I'm not standing in line. It's fair. just not. You know, you feel about the haunted mansion how I feel about Splash Mountain. Yeah. So. It's, you know, everybody's got their own, their own thing, but all right, man, where, where do we go from here? Like, I don't, I got nothing like we've hit our favorites. I mean, I know you like Dumbo, <laughs> yeah, but like, not, I mean, but I'm not waiting more than three <laughs> minutes for Dumbo. <laughs> I mean, whether I go all the time or whether I don't. I'm the not, last time we went, we walked right up to it and there was a ride before us. And it felt like it took forever, and we were the next ride. <laughs> I, Dumbo is literally like thirty-eight second ride. <laughs> like by the time you figure out how to work the lever and get the thing to go up and down, you're like, like crap. It puts, it puts you all the way to the top, and you're done. So <laughs> it's no, they're like it should be a race of well, which we know the answer, but you got like Goofy's roller coaster, and yep. and that like, bro, like it's like the race for the shortest ride of all time. <laughs> Yeah, that is. Those are oh definitely top gosh. contenders. So, I don't know where where do we go. Here's one. For uh, you. Oh, no, no, no. Go, it's my turn. Go, it's my turn. Go. I got one. I got you. Let's I got go. you. Flipping the script. Uh oh. There are no annual pass previews. Okay. So you cannot ride this attraction before it opens. Mm -hmm. You have a reservation for the day that it opens. It's a weekday. You took off because you were are excited about this. But by the time you sprint all the way back past your second favorite ride of Dumbo, wait, it's not over there, but you, you when you sprint and take a right and head into Tomorrowland and you'll have the opportunity to ride Tron the first day, you don't live there. You're not going back to Walt Disney World for seven months, seven months. And you're there. You happen to be there the day that it opens. But when you get to that queue, it's two hours long. For to be one of the first to ride this ride, you live in Maryland, you're not going back for seven months. Are you a sure or are you out? I mean, I don't even have I mean, I don't even have to think about this one. I'm a hundred percent sure. I'm in. I I'll stand in line. I am a roller coaster junkie. Yeah. So any roller coaster, especially if I could be one of the first the first people on it the first day that's right uh i'll wait two hours i mean if, if you had said it's going to be six hours nope i'll come back in seven months and ride it <laughs> um but two hours on the first day oh yeah i'd, I'd wait two hours all right Tron, no problem i what would i would too i would too because and it, like it's hard like it's so hard like i wish we could be the people that absolutely love disney but only went <laughs> like every two years right yeah. that would change this conversation yeah. so much like we go so much i'm like oh yeah i would stand in line for two three hours for that like because it's something it's one of the things that i haven't experienced yeah like i've done everything yeah. else so and many times you're like you could just go stand in line with that go get a mickey pretzel and go home and your day is good <laughs> you know because you know the i mean especially with tron because you know that the queue is going to be awesome the theming's going to be awesome you know so you're going to be waiting with people. So it's not going to seem like two hours. So right. Everybody's I'd going to be excited easy, because it's brand new. I'd easily wait two hours for that. 
Now I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna completely derail us here and go in a different. Right. Wait, wait. Did you have another attraction that you wanted to do? You said you had one. Go. Yeah, I only had one more, and it, we're 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 flipping it. We're going to a completely different park. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna walk through the the festival of walls, <laughs> and we are going to go back to the land, and we're going to now. You put all sorts of caveats. So let's just do this. Let's do this. Say that all the other stuff, and there's not a lot of it, but frozen temporarily down. Nemo temporarily down. Test track temporarily down. What is left is mission space and Soren. Oh gosh. So everyone's over there. <sighs> okay. You walk up to the land pavilion and I and I need to ride something. I need to show these people a good time. I made them come to Epcot with me and everything's down. You walk up, you go down the escalator, you look at the Soren sign and the sign says two hours oh my gosh. for Soren. Now you've been on it. The people you're with, they have not been on Soren. So you want them to experience it. You turn the corner, living with the land is five minutes. Soren, <laughs> two hours. Are you and your friends that have never ridden Soren? Two hours for um we're we're gonna go take a nap on living with the land <laughs> uh, you know and part of part of this is soren is an incredible experience especially if you haven't done that before like uh it's it's a i mean it's a masterpiece i mean just how that was built uh like the mechanism the guy that came up with that like it's just such a killer design However, I am still in the camp of I am not a fan of all of the digital creation of this where the Soaring Over California was actually shot and filmed. Yeah. And so yeah. I'm all like, hey, it's cool. But, oh, man, oh, man, we're living with the land. Then we're going to eat at the land. And then we're going over to Mission Space. <laughs> I think that's what we're doing. <laughs> i'm that horrible host yeah i can't I'm, like that rise, it's you. just not worth two hours it's cool with yeah i mean i'd wait uh let me change it how long would you wait for something? I, I do it in i do an hour i do an hour yeah okay yeah that's what I because it's say. in the air conditioning it, yeah. like if you're i mean if you're wiped out from the day it's got nice carpeted you can sit down and lean your back on like on the long hallways i mean it's so it's it's not bad it's it's like I, I, one of the great things about it is it's you go it's not echoey and loud back there it's very yeah. like it's all carpeted everywhere so it's very muted and it feels like quiet and calming back there so it's it's yeah. not a bad place to wait for there's nothing beautiful about the queue in yeah. any way shape or form there's it's nothing. about as boring as it gets but yeah it's it's a quiet getaway and it's in the ac nice yeah yeah that's all i had okay so i was gonna flip you talked about <coughs> the idea of like being a roller coaster junkie and i know that you cheated on disney uh, uh, uh um in the past couple of weeks since you've been on the show and you went and experienced florida's newest roller coaster and yeah. i quote I asked you specifically. The first thing I said is, is it the best roller coaster you've ever ridden? And your answer was? Hands down, the best roller coaster I've ever I, I've ever been on. Now, is it the best coaster ever made? Probably not. Yeah, but probably for me, not. best coaster I've ever been on by far. And that so was? I say, that was the Velocicoaster yes. at Universal Studios. Boom. Fantastic ride. Um awesome the launch it has two separate launches the inversions on that are ridiculous i thought i was coming out of my seat yeah you get a lot times. of zero g time yeah get a lot of zero g time there are a lot of twice twite <laughs> there are a lot of tight twists and turns and they're very sharp you know most there's just one section towards the end you know most like spiral rolls are very gradual and this this one is very flip you around. So it, it was really awesome. The queue was super awesome. Yeah. They have a, you know, this isn't really spoilers. I mean, but if you walk through it, if you've seen Jurassic world where they have the Raptors in the thing and they have like their heads out and these pet, the Raptors are there like physically in the queue. Uh, so it's really cool, but it is one of the best. It is the best roller coaster that i've ever been on wow that's awesome before you loved it was mako right 
Yes. So Mako at SeaWorld is also awesome. A very yeah. different coaster. Yes, very. Very much shorter wait, but uh, yeah, <laughs> Velocicoaster, coaster, best roller coaster I've been on. Yeah. I, I, there's to me, I am. I used, I mean, I love dropping and losing my stomach. I, I, I definitely love, that's my favorite thing about roller coasters. But as I've, <laughs> this is a weird thing to say, as I've matured and gotten older, like you look at rides and experiences differently. And what I think my favorite yeah. thing in the world to do is to feel that weightlessness and that zero G. Like we talked about before, uh, when Brandon lived here, like we would, we went multiple times, but uh, I have a, annual pass to bush gardens in williamsburg because we're just under an hour away from there and they have two rides my favorite ride there is apollo's chariot and if you sit in the back it's one of the it just kind of comes over your lap area that's all it is so you're yep. free and wide open and there's it's a very classic lots of up and down roller coaster and there's a lot of like pull you out of your seat and well not a lot but two very distinct like weightless and pull you out of your seat yep. moments where and then of course Griffin which do they have something similar to Griffin at I feel like they do at Tampa, Bush yeah, Tampa. They have this, it's called the sh it's called the shock ride yeah at, yeah at Tampa but it's it's the same ride but yes, so that, I love that ride as well as I've matured and gotten older <laughs> the uh that those have been like that's my favorite thing about a roller coaster is when you get that like oh my gosh like it's just so yeah and so yeah. To, to know that that ride is that i would definitely i'm yeah. gonna do a trip man when we come down there and we'll we'll go to universe i've yet to yeah. think about how many times i come to disney year still haven't been haven't been and yeah. done anything harry potter nothing yeah and nothing. the harry potter ride hagrid's motorbike adventure was yeah epic as well that yeah. one is really cool we got to ride it they have a virtual queue system much like rise of the resistance um you can join it multiple times you can ride it multiple times right but you can't do it unless you're in islands of adventure like it won't you can't even join the virtual queue when you're over in universal studios so you have to be in the in the park where the ride is you go on it automatically selects your traveling party and then you just hit join and then it gives you a time to come back so you know it was great we got to do it four times wow um, so and and the crazy thing was we didn't wait that long for anything i mean even the brand new Velocicoaster, coaster we waited 45 minutes in line oh wow to get on the ride. so i mean it, it wasn't even ridiculous and you went on the weekend right we, we, we went on sunday yeah wow so that's impressive yeah, we waited 45 minutes uh, and then the only Hagrid's, you got the virtual queue. And then when you got in, the wait was probably about 20 minutes. But I don't think we waited more than 45 minutes for anything at Universal. Dang. And, you know, we can we can talk about this in a different show, but it way exceeded my expectations. I did not expect it to be as nice as it was. I did not expect the employees or cast members or whatever they call them there to be as friendly as they were. So it was it was an overall awesome experience. So I'll definitely go back. It's, it's a very different experience than Disney. Yeah, for um, sure. Definitely more, it's more of an, it's more of a amusement yeah. park as opposed to a theme park. Uh, very different, but very awesome. So I will definitely go back. I would love for you to join me one of the times that you yeah, come definitely back. more thrilling rides at yes. universal parks where, yeah. you know, and like, I mean, I think that, I mean, you hear this a lot. I mean, our, we have littles, but as they get older, you know, they're probably going to want more of an experience and then we'll certainly transition over and check them out. But yeah, I mean, I, I'm a Disney diehard, but I'm also like a theme park fan. So, yeah. you know, like we, and we have a, a couple that aren't too far, you know, uh, King's Dominion is about two hours from us and in about 45, 50 minutes to Bush Gardens, Williamsburg and yeah, I mean, we love, but that is like, unfortunately for us, like the past decade, like I haven't gone as much mostly because it's just not like our kids don't like thrill rides. I mean, they love all yeah. of the Disney attractions, but they don't like to lose their stomach. I should say that like, because that's a bit, one of their favorite rides. They're six and 10 and they love big thunder mountain, but you don't really lose your stomach on big yeah. thunder mountain where at Bush gardens and like your universals. I mean, all you do is big drops, heavy drops, lots of weightlessness feeling. So, um, hopefully as they get older, they'll find that love for losing your belly lose the belly yeah man dude great show well, took, yeah it was awesome i loved your game i want to do that one again that was fun yeah that's a 
That's a fun game. I like how we had to build up to it. It's 110 yeah. in the shade. <laughs> it's the, it, that, but that's us. Like we're super dramatic. Yes. Right? We don't like. We have to tell the whole story to get to the ride. Like, I mean, we could have just been like, Dave, people move for 50 yeah. minutes. You wait, and you're not. But that's not as like no. people who are listening are not going to be excited right. about that. We're very movie like, trailer yeah. in a world. <laughs> In a theme park where the temperatures are oh, 110 man, I love degrees. It. All right, man. This is it until right. we meet again. Oh, do, like so. What are we? Eight, eight weeks from the fiftieth or nine? Uh, it's basically eight. eight. I th- yeah, I th- think it's eight. Yeah, let's go. Did we get? Did we look at getting Ohana yet? Well, like, have we, we looked at that? Matthew told me and we missed it. We met. We were. <sighs> Matthew told me he was like, oh, we could have booked Ohana two days ago. He looked. There was nothing. I'll keep checking. I'm just going to stand outside Those things. and be like, more porridge, please. <laughs> Could you do, please build one of these in every park? Yeah. Uh, Ohana 9 coming soon to a Disney theme park near you. Correct. All right. Sweet. All right, man. Until we meet again. Until we meet again. Bicycle. Peace. Peace.